when you have a look at this, these quick questions, these answers that we put down here, right? We have a whole bunch of words, a lot of language and terminology that we use to describe what's going on. For instance, rather than saying, oh, you know, that number, that's the small one that you write up above. We actually have not one, not two, but three different names that we call that number by. And we sort of used it. I've got some written on the board. We've used it in language. Can someone give me one example of a name that gets given to this number up the top? So, Handy, do you want to start us off? Just one. Exponent. Okay, so, so Handy's gone straight for the most fancy of the names. Okay, it's the, it's the name that you use when you want to sound smart. Like, ooh, what's the exponent of that? Do you want to give me a second one? Index. Index. And you can see we've already written that on the board. And then the last one, yeah. Power. Power. Fantastic. So, these three words all refer to the same thing, right? When we say 5 to the power of 4, or we might say the index is 4, or the exponent is 4, okay? That's that thing at the top. By contrast, this thing down the bottom, we generally only give it one name. It's down the bottom. So, what do you call someone who's not suggested something? Yeah, you go ahead. It's the base. Thank you. Drop the base. All right, now. The base down the bottom, and the index, the exponent, and the power. So we know what index notation is. We could translate 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. We can translate into index notation. But index laws are not about translation. They're actually about transaction. Can we do things together when we've got lots of things with indices? Okay. So I'm going to give you a few examples of what this actually looks like, and we'll see if we can draw some conclusions out of them. Okay. So the first little subheading I want you to put underneath the heading index laws is multiplication. Now the reason why we're starting with multiplication under this heading is because Index laws, or index notation rather, it's about multiplication. It's like a shorthand, an abbreviation of multiplying lots of things. So if we think about multiplying things together which are in this form, some of, our, um, some of the knowledge that we have, so here's our first example, will make this a lot easier. Okay? So let's think about this. If I were to multiply 7 squared, and 7 to the power of 4. Some of you might immediately be able to tell me the answer, which is great, but I want you to hold that thought for a second because I want to know not just what the answer is, but why the answer is what it is. To do that, let's unpack. What does 7 squared, what's in an abbreviation of? Yeah, who, Enoch, you've been very quiet so far. Could you give us a suggestion? 7 squared, how could you expand that? Okay, so the answer, if we evaluated it, it'd be 49, right? And where you got 49 was? Seven? Yeah, seven times seven, right? Yep, yep. So we've got seven times seven. That's what seven squared means. And of course, if you actually calculate that, it'd be 49. Seven squared gives you that. Seven to the power of four, of course, is seven times seven times seven times seven. One last time, OK? Now, sorry, that's a really bad bracket. There we go. How many sevens do I have written on the board there? I have. Six over here on the right hand side, you can literally count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. So therefore, my abbreviation for this, rather than writing it all those many times, is seven to the power of six. Now, this is a very long way of going about it because I had to sort of expand it out. We don't have to do this. If you write the left hand side again, you can notice there is a really straightforward, nice connection between the left hand side and the right. Louise, what are you seeing? Yeah, fantastic. Um, if you all didn't hear that, right? These powers over here, 2 and 4, if you just add them together, you get the 6, right? So what you've got over here is really 7 to the power of 2 plus 4. Does this make sense? Any questions? Yep? So far, so good? OK. Now, I want you to think about what happens if, example 2, what if you've got not just two numbers with the same base? What if you have like a whole bunch of them? For example, let's have a look at something like this. Let's go up to the 5. Okay. Now, again, just because we're trying to establish where this comes from, I don't want you just to be able to bless you. I don't want, well, I do want to bless you, but I don't want to just have a, like there's a property, there's a law, I'm just going to do it like a machine. I want you to know why it's going on. So let's, gonna, let's expand this first. Okay. So 3 squared. What does 3 squared mean? It's 3 times 3. Let's write that down. So I've done this guy. Then I'm multiplying by 3 in the middle. And then 3 to the power of 5 is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Can't you see how the reason I'm doing this to you is so that you sense how wonderful um, index notation is. Just such a time saver. But I'm going to write them all down um, five times. 
Okay, now just like before with the sevens, how many threes can you see written on the right hand side? Tim, how many do you count? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, this answer interests me because when I look at the left hand side, and like I just add these powers, right? I got six. When I add these powers, it looks like I get seven. What's, what's going on, Merrick? Basically, um, the other threes have power of one. If it's power of one, uh. you just one times three. Right, so see this guy here, right? We wouldn't like normally say, oh, it's an index notation, right? There's no index there. But there is one. It's just kind of hiding, right? It's an index. I'd love you to write this on the second line. It's an index of one. one. There's a single three there. That's why there it is, right? So in fact, I am doing just like I did before. I'm taking all of these indices here and I'm adding them together. 2 plus 1 plus 5, sure enough, it does equal 8.